Good morning everyone. Before I go anywhere, have a look at this view. This is our Airbnb for the night. Just outside Bally Buffy. But look at this view. And we came out last night and we just sat on that bench over there in the sun. Just stared at the, at the scenery for a while. Beautiful. But plan of action today is we're going to go and do essentially the north, I think it's the Northwest 200, which is like a Irish version of the North North Coast 500, the most northwesterly sort of peninsula of Ireland without going into Northern Ireland. Oh, hey baby. 2,800 kilometers so far. Averaged 56 MPG, that's not bad, you know. Right, I'll bring you back when we're closer to the route. Welcome to Muff. I'm going to have to see if they've got a diving team. <laughs> Putting my GoPro on. There's actually glass there. That guy just rode over that stuff. What a plum. McGilligan Point View. It's not a bad view, is it? Come on then. Come on then. Let's get going. So that's Northern Ireland, isn't it? Yeah, that's where the IRA are, isn't it? <laughs> I, um, are we allowed to say that? Probably. And I will continue Mick mounting. Oh, that's a view. We should be going down that way. Yeah, this is coming up to what the most northerly point of Ireland. Uh, yeah, Marlin Head or Malin Head. Why does it look like the sea's like really high up? What a place to live on the edge there, can you imagine? I mean, it'd be insane in a storm as well. I love how all the fields just keep going up the side of the hill all the way to the top. It's great. They do utilize every bit of land possible, don't they? Mossy Glen. Oh, what a <laughs> view! Breaking. Oh, look at that beach. That is very pretty. That's nice. It is nice beach, isn't it? Can I go bay? Can I go bay? Can I go bay? Should we go down there? Yep. Oh, why didn't we bring our swimmers? Can't wait to find out. This is a dead end. We have to try and turn around on this hill. This is so cool. And the road is still good as well. Gonna go turn around and do another picture next to this side. Can I go bay? Can I go? Can I, can I get, can, can I go? Sand, sand. Nished. George looks like he's humping his bike again. <laughs> oh, can I get go back? Can I get go back? <laughs> I got so excited going through Muff earlier. <laughs> oh. Well, well, hang on. <laughs> My uh, do you? do not. That's it. That was a little bit iffy then. <laughs> Just undone all of my vents to get absolutely hammered on by that rain cloud. <laughs> Bright song to dinging it down in the space of two minutes. I've got my map zoomed out so you can see where we're going. Yeah. We've still got quite a way to go before we get to the end. Oh yeah, there's a car. We're going up there. <laughs> That's got to be something to do with the war, isn't it? It has, it's concrete, isn't it? Yeah. So this is Malin Head. Wow, mate. <laughs> Look at this place. Look over there. <laughs> this isn't head to Malin Head, so it's obviously north, to the, uh, north of Ireland to the south. Mick has assumed the stance. <laughs> well, I had to. I got It blew me forward. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to stand. <laughs> So like snapping my head back. <laughs> it's so windy. 
Fine, I'll come down that way as well. Call that wind is something else, isn't it? Squeak, squeaky brakes. Your boy's got road tires on. Your yeah, boy. Training for ABR. Go on, Dad. a place. Well, right, let's go and find somewhere for luncheon, I think. Dead thing in road. Lunch a yon. Just had a lovely little lunch stop. Just such a such a pro YouTuber. I'm actually proud. Look how well I've got everyone trained. To get when you get your 1200, you need to get a uh, proper proper dick lights. These these dick lights. <laughs> We, you know, we were just talking about saving for a house and a mortgage and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to get a 1200 now. Crash bars. Yours are, in the manual, yours actually say that they're not crash bars. Which basically means you need to get crash they're bars. They're pointless really, aren't they? Yeah. I should bin these off and get the SW Motec ones that fit with the massive belly pan that looks like a tank. That would be pain. You should do that. I mean, it's the only logical thing to do. Bye to the ladies at Coastline Cafe. Can't believe it's four o'clock and we've only just had lunch because we've been faffing around so much. <laughs> well, we didn't stop there till two o'clock, did we? Or we've gone to. I really hate that the, <coughs> the bike kicks off when it's like, oh, low front tire pressure. Turn everything off now. Have you got low front tire pressure? Well, it was on 32. Now it's gone up to 33 and the thing's gone off. That's the only thing with the Tigers, isn't it? Because they, they kick off about everything. Literally one PSI change and they go mad. That woman said she was from Scotland, didn't she? She came over from Scotland. That's why she loved it when I asked for an iron brew. Yeah, she oh yeah, you mean a bottle of ginger? You two sort of showing off your kills to each other, and talking about which clan you were in. <laughs> I think you could definitely do a good job over this. Oh shit! <laughs> I saw your front end take off. <laughs> I think your back end took off as well. <laughs> the wind hit me. What wind? I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at those waves out there, look. It's really mad that you've just got this sea right here and then there's huge mountains in the distance which just end right at the like sea right she so said yeah through the little hamlety thing fork to the right which is i think is going straight ahead up that hill there so everyone watching this is basically in that cafe we were just in this what the woman uh said we should do this primarily because there's alpacas chuggage <laughs> oh, good bike didn't even have to try we're never gonna have time to do this full head and bowie. <laughs> no, we're really not. We'll just have to see how far we get. They must be the strongest clothes pegs known to man. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh. It's a bit special. This is a great little road, look at that. With that view as well. Get out of here. <laughs> I just see you taking off over all of these. <laughs> Alpacas! They are funny. I'm slowing down to have a look at them. <laughs> look at their haircuts. Funny things. What a view. That's amazing. Do you want to stop for a picture here? Oh, look at the view. That's <laughs> Wind is a bit much, isn't it? Jesus, look at that. Tall very much. Oh my God, look. That is a shot and off.
fuck, look at this place. So we've got to go all the way up to the headland up here and then back down the other side over there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that did all right. <laughs> Seven big. Christ. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh. Bloody hell. Hurry up, George. I've got to put my side stand down. It then blew me over. <laughs> oh, what a place. So that was worth stopping there for lunch. Just for this. I'm assuming that's the road that goes all the way down there. Or we'll find that road. <laughs> Did you just go flying? Uh, little jump, little jump. I think it's definitely the best roads that I've ever really it has to be. Yeah, and uh, to be fair as well, it is one of the best places I've ever been to as well. I don't feel like we've missed out anything though. Like as in we, we I don't feel like I haven't achieved what we set out to achieve. If that makes sense. Well, you can see where we just were at the top of those cliffs. So we were literally just up there. That is mad. <laughs> well, see, this is the thing, right? I've seen videos of my bike being ridden really, really hard. So it can be done. I've just got to have the bollocks to do it myself. There's a difference between riding a bike hard and controlling a bike whilst riding it hard though. I know you can do it, but it's better to like gradually increase your confidence in it rather than just send it. <laughs> Absolutely, you should yeet it off stuff. What I mean is the bike's capable, I just need to catch up my ability. <laughs> It's basically perfect tarmac. <laughs> Come Island, it's great fun. You sounded like Dr. Heaven when you laughed then. <laughs> oh yes! Look at that Jesus! This is the Manmore Gap, according to the road signs. The what? Mamor Gap. Mamor. M A M O R E. Oh, oh, yeah, I've got it on my son of. And Mamor. Hey, Mamor. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. <laughs> oh shit, pay attention to the road. <laughs> Jesus, how high have we come up like, in 100 metres? Look how high we are. Oh, you're brave doing a donut there, whoever that was. I was just about to say. <laughs> oh my god, look. <laughs> Jeez Louise, there's a viewpoint there, should we pull in? That is incredible. Look where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. Oh, Mickey V's mix off. taking the lead. Look at that, he's got his racing stance. I'm much happy following you on this, so you can actually see where the hairpins are. I'm much happy? Yeah, much happy. <laughs> Woo what a bit of tarmac! Dad, when you said we're going between two mountains, I didn't think you meant literally. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, hello. Whoa, I thought I was going to go straight down then. <laughs> so was I. <laughs> Wait, shit. <laughs> yeah, what's the corner there? Yeah, I sort of ducked in and then realised I had the Insta on. <laughs> well, that, that's not a bit scary. I don't know what it is. Well, Mick is hacking. Micka Hakkinen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 oh, look at that. Where the fuck is the road? Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, island is sick. It's mad how quickly you're like at sea level and then you take one road up which is like a couple of hundred meters and you go up an entire mountainside. Tip O'Neill. Yeah, don't worry, you'll definitely get 7,000 miles out of these uh, TKC 70 rocks. Two and a half thousand miles later, bald. <laughs> That is such a view. Jesus, that's amazing. 
What a country. Yeah, very, very impressive. What are we now, nine days in? Yeah. And we're still all sitting here going, this is incredible. The thing is, we are, I reckon we've not even seen like 10% of the country, that's the thing. Yeah, this is mad. Absolutely insane, love it. Maybe if you start shouting out uh, Stena Lines ferries, you might get some discounted trips to come back. <laughs> Just do a full advert for them. He, he wanted to cross to Ireland in comfort. <laughs> I love as well that this is actually part of the Wild Atlantic Way, like roads like this. It's not all boring like main roads. It is like the back tracks. Yeah, you know like when we did the Snowdonia 360, like everything was just dual carriageway and stuff. It was so shit. You're such a pro YouTuber. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> God, I've converted all of you to insufferable fucking morons. Ah, uh, Yvonne Vincent's replied to my story saying it looks lovely. So, synopsis on the day, anyone? Dry. Good. <laughs> Dry. Gooder. Gooder than it was yesterday. No, ye yesterday was pretty good as well. Wicked day. Even muff was dry. <laughs> I, I did lube myself up before I entered muff though. So did you. There we go. We've got another 20 minutes of Jaws trying to make a joke land about muff. Yeah. Dan pulls out a one-liner, gets it first time. <laughs> oh, but yeah, very, very good day. It's been really windy again though, isn't it? It was really good that we got up to the most northerly point of the whole island. The island of Ireland. And I really like that road by the alpacas. Yeah, yeah that was good, wasn't it? Really nice. Uh, wind! Uh, I'm going to leave the cameras running for the next, well, how long this bit of road is. I'll end it here. Thank you very much for joining us. That is a fucking massive cow. <laughs> the size of that thing. Uh, and I will see you in next week's video. Oh. Good morning, everyone. This is our final day. Look at the weather. It's a bit shit. Oh, yeah. Rain and clouds and stuff, but there is blue sky. But this is, this is our final day at this destination. And we are doing a long schlep all the way down to Rosslare, which is... 296 miles away, 6 hours 15 of riding, it's going to be fun, so yeah, let's get going shall we, we go through all of the like, mountains and stuff, so I'm hoping it's going to be quite nice footage, so I will bring you back if it is, bye. Oh, such a smooth tarmac, yes, what a lovely little bit of road. Glenafelly Drive. Uh, this is like uh, those trails we did in Wales. Ah, oh, I just got twatted in the face by a leaf. <laughs> These windy road signs are my new favourite thing. Oh. <laughs> Look at this piece of tarmac. Jump there! Oh, this is fantastic! It's got to be a windy road sign again. Oh! Wab, wab, wab! What a good corner! Oh, no, the sun's come out. Considering we're about, what, 400 kilometers in, 380, 400 kilometers into the day, I feel quite fresh. I really love Ireland. This is great. Look at that view. What a fantastic, fantastic place this has been. Oh, I haven't filmed a lot today everyone because 
it's been a lot of sort of I suppose like B roads and A roads, well more A roads, but tried to film a little bit in between so I don't know whether I'll stick this at the end of uh, day 8 video or whether I'll do it its own video, it depends how long that is I guess. We have got our ferry tomorrow, first thing in the morning. We are staying down in Rosslare tonight, just for the one night. It's been an absolutely corking trip, really, really enjoyed it. If you've been with me the whole time, or been with us the whole time, thank you very, very much. If you're watching this episode and you haven't seen any other, others, I'll leave links at the end to go to the start of this. I'll make it a playlist like I've done with all of my other trips, so you can go and watch the whole thing back to back if you're really bored. <laughs> Bike has been absolutely faultless. Not had a single thing wrong with it, but yeah, absolutely sublime time. So thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you in next week's video, which I don't know what it'll be. Bye. So many dick lights, I love it. Welcome back to a very sunny England. Look at that. Well, Wales technically. <laughs>